Hi everyone, today we are going to learn how to solve exact differential equations in this video. Okay, uh, we have a given differential equation in the form mxy dx plus nxy dy is zero. First, we have to be sure that this equation is exact or not. Okay, uh, how can we sure? How can we be sure uh, if this equation is exact or not? Of course, we will use exactness condition that is partial derivative of m with respect to y has to be partial derivative of n with respect to x has to be equal to each other. If this condition is satisfied, then this equation, let's say star, star equation, star is exact. So, if this equation is exact, that means it has a solution of the form f of x, y is c, where c is constant, satisfying uh, that partial derivative of f with respect to x is m of x, y, and partial derivative of f with respect to y is equal to n of x y so we will use uh, in fact our algorithm our solution algorithm will start this one let's say the first equation and the second the second equation uh, we have to start by choosing one of the the first or the second equation if we start by choosing the first equation then uh, we will start del f over del x is equal to m o x y then after some steps i we i will show in the il illustrative example uh, we will use the second one so we will start with the first equation and then we will use the second one or of course we the second uh, we can also choose the second equation if we start with the second equation then we are going to use the first equation so let's see an illustrative example let me write partial derivatives partial m with respect to y is equal to 2x plus exponential y and partial derivative of n with respect to x 2x plus exponential y okay we see that both partial derivatives are equal to each other so the equation is exact if this equation is exact it must have a solution f o x y is equal to c where c is constant C constant satisfying that partial derivative of f with respect to x has to be equal to m of x y the first one and the second one that sorry partial derivative of f with respect to y has to be equal to n of x y since uh, this example is an illustrative example. I will solve the equation, the uh, differential equation by using the uh, solution process of exact differential equations by starting with the first equality and then by starting with the second one. Okay, let me start the first one by using the first one. Since partial derivative of f with respect to x is equal to m of x y that is i know that m of x y is 2 times x times y plus exponential y then now uh, let me omit m of x y uh, del sorry partial derivative of f del f equals 2xy plus exponential y times del x and integrating both sides of this 
equation gives f o x y now i am integrating the right hand side of this equation with respect to the the, the uh, variable x so this one two times x square over two times y i assume that y is constant here plus since y is constant exponential y times x plus i put a function o constant since i assume that y is constant i put here g of y okay now uh, of course i don't know what is g right now how can i determine g of course i will use the second equation if partial derivative of f with respect to y is nxy let me calculate it by using this f partial derivative of f with respect to y is equal to x square plus x times exponential y plus dg over dy i know that uh, this partial derivative is equal to n of xy so it has to be x square plus x times exponential y okay now uh, i have an equation uh, where on the left side x square plus x times exponential y plus dg or dy equals x square plus x times exponential y so uh, some terms can be cancelled x squares are cancelled x times exponential y's are cancelled then dg over dy equals zero that means g g of y is equal to uh, c1 where c1 is a constant so by determining uh, the function g in fact i uh, determined all components of f of x y so f of x y can be written as x square y plus x times exponential y plus c1 is equal to c and this uh, this form can be rewritten as x square y plus x times exponential y equals c2 where c2 is equal to c minus c1 this is the solution of the given exact differential equation what happens if i start to solve the given exact differential equation by starting partial derivative of f with respect to y is equal to n of x y let's see partial derivative of f with respect to y is equal to n of x y uh, that is x square plus x times exponential y so this equation can be rewritten as del f equals x square plus x times exponential y times del y then integrating both sides with respect to y of course uh, the right hand side is integrated uh, for the dependent variable independent variable y that is f of x y equals x square y i assume that x is constant here plus x times exponential y plus i put a function of x 
h of x. Now, uh, in f of x, y, I do not know what h of x is. So how can I determine uh, h of x? By using, of course, the other uh, quality, del f, since I know that partial derivative of f with respect to x is m of x, y. Here I can calculate partial derivative of f, that is partial derivative of f with respect to x is equal to 2xy plus exponential y plus the h over dx and of course i know m i know what m is i write m here 2 times xy plus exponential y so uh, 2xy's are cancelled then exponential y's are cancelled then i determine dh over dx is equal to 0 then when I solve this simple differential equation, I find h of x equals c4, c4, a constant. So, uh, I determined all components of f of x, y. So, f of x, y can be written as f of x, y equals x squared y plus x times exponential y plus c4 equals c5 then of course i can rewrite this uh, this form x square y plus x times exponential y is equal to c6 of course c5 and c6 are constants constants and c6 equals c5 minus c4 okay this is the solution you see that uh, we determined we found the same solution by starting two different points